Hi, it's Tim Schrock with Design Build Solutions. Today I want to do a follow-up on a past video, Tech Tip Tuesday, I did on using layers. In this model, I mocked up a quick model to mimic that video. Uh, I showed how I am, uh, how I did a corner board, so to speak, uh, right here to mimic, mimic the corner board, but since it's not, um, a corner on the wall. I can't use a corner board tool. I used a polyline solid. Polyline solids by default go onto the CAD default layer, and I'm very passionate about, or I, for myself, I hold myself to the standard that I try to put objects on the appropriate layer that they are representing, particularly when I'm doing a custom object like a polyline solid. And since I'm um, since I'm mimicking a corner board type of trim, I chose to use the corner board layer in that video. So the question was raised, what happens if, if you don't draw it on the correct layer the first time? What I did earlier on that video was to draw the polyline solid on directly on the um, corner board's layer to begin with. Now, I didn't have to do that back then. Um, I believe I was using X10 or X11 at, at, in that video. Um, I could have drawn it on the default layer that was currently being used. In this file, uh, that default layer for the as-built plan, as-built view, uh, saved plan view is the CAD existing layer. If yours is the CAD default layer, that's fine too. Now, I'm going to draw this one differently on the elevation. And in this elevation, the CAD default is, CAD default layer is the default for the um, polylines being drawn. Uh, let's draw a item here, five inches wide, and I'm going to select that and convert it to a polyline solid. Now, in X13, which I'm using here, I have the option to change this to a backsplash or a polyline solid, which I'm going to use the polyline solid. Um, now, I've got layer options. Do I want to convert this object, this new object? It's going from a polyline, just a CAD polyline, to a polyline solid, which are two different objects. Do I want to convert that and have that reside on the CAD default layer, which is the default for a polyline solid? Or do I want it to be the same layer as the original object? The original object, being the polyline itself, was also CAD default. I'm going to cancel this and show you the difference here. Let's change this CAD default, say, to CAD existing, just for giggles. And let's do this five inches wide. So I drew this on the CAD existing layer, which isn't my target layer. It's not the corner board's layer, right? convert this polyline solid and now you'll see the different two differences default layer for the converted object type a polyline solid the default layer is CAD default or do I want it to be the same layer as the original CAD object CAD existing had I drawn on the corner boards layer that's what would have shown up here and I would have I could have just selected this and gone on uh, about my day. Or I could specify a layer and select corner boards here. Let's do that. Give it one inch thick, that's fine. And pick up this white, paint it, and it's good. Now let's say you didn't do this uh, step and you just got busy and clicked OK, leaving the CAD default layer as the option. OK, uh, you don't have to go back. You could change it right here. Go into line style and change it to corner boards. Or I'm going to click OK and paint it white. You can always come back and open that object again. Go into line style and click on the corner boards. Or whatever the target uh, layer is that you're using. One of the reasons why I do this is so that 
um, in plan view and elevations, everything looks properly. Okay, let's uh, go back to the elevation and I'm going to draw this one more time in the existing plan layer. Right, let's go uh, 12 just to show you the difference and I'm going to convert this to a polyline solid and for sake of this demonstration I'm going to do the same layer as the original object which is cat existing and that's fine and I go to my camera and I don't see it it's in my elevation and it's in this plan view but it's not in my camera view this is just to demonstrate why I use the layers for the appropriate object that I'm creating. Because my layer sets, camera sets, plan sets, elevation sets, all those things have certain layers turned off and on according to what I want to see in that plan. Now, the CAD existing is on in this as-built plan view, but if I were to switch to my CD, my construction docs plan, it's not there. Okay. So, I'm going to have to go into my elevation view here, or I have to go here and remember to turn on the CAD existing layer to see it here. But why do that? Why mess with all the, all the multiple layer plan sets, layer sets, uh, when I could just make the object be on the appropriate layer? So I'm going to double click on this and click on corner boards so that now in camera it's present and in elevation and in plan view it's present as well as elevation. Joe, appreciate the question on that so much. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this bonus tip today. Have a wonderful day.